I'm going to show you now how easy it is to program your design um, into, into the FPGA Maximator board um, using um, Altera Quartus Prime. So first thing, this is what um, Quartus Prime looks like when you first open it. Uh, it's a tip very typical IDE with panels around the outside and some welcome screen stuff in the middle. So let's start by opening the uh, one of the example projects that comes with the Maximator. Um, I've opened lots of projects before, so I'll just go straight ahead and pick the uh, seven segments example from the uh, recent projects list here. It's asking me whether I want to overwrite um, a previous revision of a database, and I'll say yes, I do. Wait a second while Quartus Prime opens the project. It shouldn't take long, and here we are, ready to go. So um, as, I've, as I've always said before, I'm more familiar with the Xilinx ISE, but I can see uh, straight away here that the, there are similarities between ISE and Quartus Prime. Um, in particular, I, I recognize this list of tasks here that um, you need to perform to, um, you know, to, to build your uh, FPGA bitstream, the binary um, you know, representation of your design. So I'm just going to go, go ahead here and double click on Compile Design. And off it goes. It's um, created some uh, percentage indicators to see uh, to tell me how long, how it's getting along. Um, this this computer I'm running it on is the um, Z800 clone that you can see um, on my website. It's very fast. It's a, a dual Xeon X5680 uh, machine, so it should go very quick. Now, even though I can see from my CPU monitor, you, you can't see it on this display that it is actually using all of my cores. Um, for something anyway, even though when I installed this thing, uh, it said it's a light version and, and therefore multi-core support is disabled. Um, well, whatever it's doing, it is, it's, uh, different parts of the process are using my cores. And they're, not, they're not locked to 100%, but they are all being used. And you can see it's working down the list of tasks here to do. Analysis, filter, uh, sorry, fitter, place and route, and the assembler, uh, some timing analysis, which is always very useful to see whether you've met your timing constraints. And um, it creates a net list as well. So it's done. That's good. So now I've got a successful build. It's time to upload the output to the Maximator board using the USB Blaster programmer. Um, Connectivity-wise, I've um, connected the uh, Maximator board itself to the computer using um, the micro USB cable so it can get power. And I've also connected the USB Blaster to the IDC 10-pin um, JTAG programming header and also the USB Blaster USB connector to the computer power. So that's two USB uh, cables and one IDC cable connected up. So let's see how to program this thing. So um, if I remember correctly, yes there it is, in the tools menu you'll find the programmer option. Click on it. Should come up. Um, now I've already set, done my hardware setup previously but yeah, if you, you're approaching this for the first time, go to the hardware setup, make sure your currently selected hardware is USB blaster USB 1, like so and um, then you're ready to go. So what you need to do first of all, click Auto Detect because this programmer needs to know what type of board it's programming, well not board, what type of FPGA it's programming. And there we go, it's found that um, th there are multiple possible choices uh, for this particular JTAG ID. And the one we want is the first one, 10M08DA. It's selected by default, we just say OK. And it'll think for a second and should fill in this list here um, with the um, details about the device and a little picture of the FPGA down here. Come on, don't take all day. There we go. So there's a little picture of the process and we have the um, little list box entry here that tells us what we're going to do. We're missing the file. We need to add the file. Let's do that. The file in this case is the uh, compiled output. So we'll uh, go to the output file subdirectory and this threw me for a bit, not being used to Altera stuff. Um, there are two possible output, output file types. This, this is POF files are apparently programmer object files and SOF files are SRAM um, object files. So I went to the um, example video that the Maximator guys um, have produced and it shows them using the SOF file. So SOF file it is. In we go. And you, um, we're nearly ready to program. The diagram has updated itself here. Um, we need to remove that non-entry, so let's right-click on it and say delete. And now we've only got the one that we want to do. We're going to program and configure it. We won't bother verifying it because it's going to run straight away, and we'll see whether it works any or not at that point. So click start. The progress indicator will make its way along, and it's done. 100. Well, it makes its way along. It will appear at 100 percent. And there we go, it's successful, and the FPGA board is programmed and is now working. Um, let's have a play with it.
Okay, so here's the um, FPGA board, um, freshly programmed with the USB blaster still attached. Um, I'm not going to bother pulling that out now. I can play with the board with it, with it still attached. Um, and I think the idea with this um, seven segment LED is that you just press the uh, left and right buttons and it'll start counting according to the, the buttons that you press. And it does kind of vaguely seem to be doing that. I think my buttons seem to be a bit bit funny. I don't know whether they're, uh, you know, it's a hardware problem or whether it's um, part of the uh, design, but it's basically working. Um, and I press the red button and it should, should reset. This button's got reset written on it and it does eventually do it. So yeah, it works. The, the design's been uploaded correctly, um, and I think as a, at least as a tutorial that shows you how to uh, go through um, Altera courses and uh, and program a board with a compiled design, um, it's all worked very well. So my view on these uh, on this FPGA board, the Maximator, is that I think it's an excellent um, an excellent idea. It really does give people uh, a simple introduction into the world of FPGA and uh, you know programmable logic. Um, so if you're looking for um, you know, your, your first steps away from perhaps microcontroller programming um, into programmable logic, then um, this is a good board to get. Um, it's got lots of peripherals on it, it's in a familiar form factor, and it will allow you to get started um, pretty quickly. So um, all in all, highly recommended. Um, do check out the write-up on my website if you want to find out more, and um, hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.